Hi, I'm called Sebastian Taylor, adventurer, entrepreneur, and amateur cook, and welcome to Cooking with Colt. Welcome back to Cooking with Colt. I am, of course, Colt Sebastian Taylor, and today we will be making a turkey meatloaf. Now, the first thing you need for a good turkey meatloaf is a recipe, which I have printed out right here. And uh, today we're working with a pound and a half of, uh, of ground turkey, which is thawing, thawing in the sink next to me. We need a uh, pepper, onion, celery, some spices, a, uh, a, uh, a meatloaf pan, measuring cups, and then some ketchup and minced garlic there in the fridge. So first thing is first, we need to start cutting up our vegetables. Now, first thing I'm gonna cut up is a two third cups of of yellow onion, which it just so happens I have right here. So here's our onion. Uh, we need to peel off the skin like so. It's not really a very nutritious part of the the onion right there, so you don't want to get any of that into your uh, meatloaf. Now you're probably asking yourself, hey Colt, where did you learn to cut an onion? Well, I looked it up and that seemed to be like the best thing to do because like I said, I'm an amateur cook, so I don't cook on a very regular basis. Now, what I've seen is the easiest way to cut up an onion is to carefully uh, begin to cut into it like this several times. Yeah, you want to be careful not to uh, take off any tips of your fingers because uh, that really does not add as much flavor into a meatloaf as you might think. So once you have cut a few times horizontally, you will then want to cut ver vertically to get your onion pieces. Now, I love onions. Onions are good deep fried, like onion rings, and they're also good in just about everything. Except maybe ice cream, I suppose. Ice cream would probably not be best use of an onion. All right. So, let's chop this up some more. We need some chopped onions. Okay, so this calls for a two-third cups of uh, yellow onion. This is a one-third cup, so we just have to fill this up twice. All right, there is, there is, oh, don't want that piece. Let's see here, there we are. There is one-third of a cup. Put this right here on a plate. I can keep all, keep all my ingredients on a plate here so I can get them later. Let's get another third. Put that right on top of the other onion. And there, there's our two third cups of onion. As for the rest here, I'm gonna Ziploc bag this up and use this in salads, cause like I said, onions are good. All right, next we need a half a cup of chopped green bell pepper. So we need to take off uh, one end here. Then we take off the top end. Uh, like so. Now, pepper is actually kind of hollow, so to get the yummy outside, you just need to cut just a little bit on the inside here to get out this uh, this this core that has a bunch of seeds. And uh, let's see here. So it's just a little do a little cut there. Do a little cut there. And. Oh, and it fell out. Look at that. There's the core with all the seeds. We can get rid of that. And uh, pick out... Yeah, got just fell out of it. So, now to cut this, we cut it in half. Like so. Now we have two halves here. Now we will cut it up into strips and then mince it up into little pieces. So, we don't need these pieces either. 
I'm not a big fan of pepper, but uh, this recipe calls for it, and I always follow instructions. Now that this is fairly chopped up, at least chopped up, good enough for me. Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, we need, how much do we need? We need a half a cup. A half a cup of chopped, chopped pepper. So, put that in there, and look at that. That is about a half a cup. We will put that with our onions on our plate here. Now we are, we can move on to the next part. And we'll take these peppers, put them in a Ziploc bag so they can be used for, I don't know, salads. Next, we need one third of a cup of chopped celery. I've never chopped celery before, so I assume this is pretty much how you do it. All right, here's our third cup here. Let's see if I chopped up enough. Hey, look at that. I sure did. All right, we will put that in with our our vegetable our vegetable plate here that goes into the mix. And now uh, we now need what do we need here? We need a little up, 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 a half a cup of dried breadcrumbs, which we will use my favorite Ritz crackers. This is actually far easier than a. Uh, chopping up vegetables, so we'll just crunch up a bunch of these until we have... Yeah, okay, so that's uh... Let's see. Let's crunch these up. Alright, there we are. That is just about a half a cup of bread crumbs. We'll leave that in the cup. We'll put this cup right next to our plate here. So now we have to uh, get our meat. Uh, an egg and some spices and begin to mix this all together into our turkey meatloaf. Okay, moment of truth. It's time to combine our ingredients into a turkey meatloaf. So first, we need to get our ground turkey that has been uh, defrosting over here. There we are, there is our turkey. Uh, now we gotta mix in all of our vegetables. Uh, so we need to get all of our vegetables in here. There's all of our vegetables. We need to uh, put our breadcrumbs in. Like so. Uh, we, need our, we need our one egg. Um, actually, it's an egg. It's an egg that needs to be lightly beaten. So, I guess I'm gonna need a secondary bowl for that. Lightly beaten egg in there. There we go. Now we need to add some more ingredients here. Let's see here. We need a tablespoon of of uh, garlic, of minced garlic here. So we'll get a tablespoon of minced garlic. Garlic is also one of my. Mmm, smells so good. No vampires over here tonight. Alright, minced garlic. What else do we need here? We need a tablespoon of pure black pepper. Just so happens I have. There we are.
Oh, half a tablespoon. Oh, almost. Almost. Almost blew that one. That would have been terrible. All right, so here is a quarter. Here is another quarter. All right, and we'll just casually put this back in. There we are. Waste not, want not. There we are. All right, so now we need, see, we have a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We need a half a teaspoon of salt. So we'll do two quarter uh, tablespoons. Boop. Boy, I hope this is good. Or this is going to be really terrible. All right, and now we also need Tablespoon up oh, a tablespoon of ketchup. Alright. I should have washed the black pepper out of this. <laughs> Oop. Alright. That looks about right. Got that in there. All right, it's always important to read the instructions, otherwise uh, you're gonna have a disaster in your hand. All right, we got the uh, celery, the egg, ketchup, garlic. Oh, oh, I almost forgot some uh, some uh, chili flakes here. Now this calls for a tablespoon of this, but this is actually some really powerful stuff. So I'm just gonna do a quarter tablespoon of this because, well, maybe a little bit more. There we are. Because I don't want to overpower it with this, uh, what's this called? Chili, crushed chili. That might be, uh, don't want to, don't want to ruin it by making it unedible. <laughs> so we got the salt, the pepper, essence, uh, gently mix until ingredients are well combined. Well, it's time for us to gently mix this by hand. Okay, so this is not for uh, people who like uh, if, they, if you have a problem getting your hands all sticky and icky, this probably isn't for you. We should probably definitely wash our hands one more time. All right, time to combine until we have a nice, yummy turkey meatloaf. Ugh. This kind of reminds me when you went to someone's house for a haunted house and they, uh, blindfolded you and took you downstairs and you put your hands in witch's hair and eyeballs and whatnot. Um, maybe, maybe I was helping people make meatloaf. If you think about it. Alright, we want to combine this until this is nice and mixed together until we have a nice, solid uh, meatloaf ready to shape into the shape of a loaf. We're gonna mix all of our ingredients to make sure we don't have one side that's too garlicky, another side that's uh, too chili-y. Alright, now that we have uh, successfully mixed our ingredients, we need to dump this out and shape it like a loaf before we stick it into our pan here. Alright, so let's, uh... Oh, alright. Scoop this out. Fortunately, my, uh, time working with Play-Doh has made me very adept at shaping things. So that's uh that wasn't too hard all right so we got our, we got our loaf here and uh we have our pan here now um it's always probably a good idea to to uh spray your pan a bit so you don't have any uh stickage issues all right now we have to transfer this from here 
into there. And that is not as easy as it looks. There we go. All right. There is our loaf. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful turkey loaf. Ready to cook, but not, not quite done yet, my friends, because we need to put our topping on there. So we need a half a cup of ketchup and a tablespoon of hot sauce. All right, so let's see here. Half a cup. There's our half a cup. Still got some uh, Ritz crackers in there, but that's fine. All right, so let's... Ooh, my hands are completely slippery. Alright, let's get our half a cup of ketchup. Oh, yeah. That's about half a cup right there. And now we need a tablespoon of hot sauce. That I cannot manage to open at the moment because my hands are really slippery. There we go. There we go. Alright. Tablespoon. Hot sauce. Tablespoon of that. Just. Oop. Pour that into there. Probably should have gone about this in a different way. That's fine. We mix it together carefully. And we are. Oop. Got a little leakage. together like so and then the recipe says to spoon ketchup mixture evenly over the meatloaf and use the back of the spoon to spread it out so let's bring that a little closer to the camera Probably asking yourself, wow, Colt, what are you going to have for sides? Well, I have instant peas and instant mashed potatoes because I can only cook so much. All right. So let's spread that out evenly over the meatloaf like so. The back of the spoon. It smells good. At least the uh, really smell the tobacco sauce and the ketchup. And, uh, all right, that is, there is our uncooked turkey meatloaf ready to cook. Uh, so next up, we're going to pre, we're going to put this into the fridge and we're going to preheat our oven to 375 and, um, we'll be ready to cook. Well, our... Our oven is preheated to 375. Now I gotta put this meatloaf in for about, you know, 45 to 50 minutes and then we'll see how it tastes. Hopefully it's not horrible or it's pizza night here at the Colt Residence. So we'll check back in once this has been fully cooked. Well, the meatloaf is cooked. I've made some potatoes and peas. It's time for this taste test to see if I did a good job.
That's pretty good. Well, this entire recipe can be found in the YouTube description below, and good luck with your own meatloaf adventure, and try not to get any food poisoning. I'm Colt Sebastian Taylor, and I'll see you later. Non più vrai questi bei panachini Quel cappello leggero galante Quella chioma, quell'aria brillante Quel vermiglio donesco color Quel vermiglio donesco